Friday. It's Friday. I'm excited. I hope you have a great Friday and I hope you have a great weekend. One thing about neurodivergence and relationships is give yourself a break. Give your partner a break too. Listen, us that are neurodivergent, we can be perfectionists. We can hold ourselves to standards that are just unattainable. And that can kind of, when we're not in the most mature state or we're in an overwhelmed state or we're kind of, you know, just stressed out and stuff, we can kind of put that on our partner and expect perfection from our partner. Here's the thing. It doesn't matter how much work you put into growth. It doesn't matter how much work you put into learning about relationships and all that stuff. You are not going to be perfect. Your partner will not be perfect. You need to give each other a break. You have to have some grace, some mercy, just some understanding and patience with each other because you're going to make mistakes. You're both going to make mistakes and stuff. You know, it's just a part of life. None of us are perfect. None of us will be perfect. So give yourself a break. Give your partner a break. You know, no matter, like I said, no matter how much work you've done, you're no better than your partner. Your partner's no better than you. You're no worse than your partner. Your partner's no worse than you. We are all human beings. Intrinsically, we are going to have what some people would consider flaws. We are going to screw up more times than we want to. We are going to beat ourselves up when we screw up and stuff. Those of us with those kind of a conscience and stuff. Um, and that can cause a problem as well. You know, we don't want to have any shame over that. We do want to have guilt over bad behavior because we shouldn't do that stuff. And we should want to change that. But shame just stops forward momentum. I've talked about that before. So, but like I said, you know, be easy on yourself. Be easy on your partner. Understand that things are going to happen. You know, when you're in the moment, you got emotions and stuff. It's hard to think clearly, but try to always remind Remind yourself that you are in this together forever. That's your goal. That's what you're striving towards. So whatever is going to get you to that spot, that's what you want. If that's just letting things go, then let them go. That's your partner. You love them. Who? We let things go from a bunch of morons out there. You don't want to let things go when it comes to someone that loves you more than anything, that you love more than anything. Come on now. We do, we do truly need unconditional love. And I am, like I said, I've said it many times before. I'm grateful for my best friend for teaching me that. So anyways, have an awesome Friday. You are an awesome and amazing human being. I love you so much. And I truly, truly, truly do pray that you get the love that you deserve. Peace out. Bye.